Hey, this is Sam Black with my fourth match with Sun Titan Control in Modern. I'm on the play with a really bad hand that I'm going to mulligan. And I'll keep this and put that on top. And I will lead with... Uh, I'm actually going to lead with Prairie Stream. I can have Dispel up, which probably won't matter, but might as well. Uh, Mistvale Plans can do something earlier than Ameria can, so I'll play that first. I guess getting the Cortisar in play doesn't really do anything, so I'm gonna uh, hold up to spell here for Corridor Collected Company. Probably Cord, which my opponent likely wouldn't play on their own turn anyway, but it's easy to do this. That's kind of annoying. Well, I would like to keep blue up, but I need to get this thing down, start defending myself. have four lands, so I'll play the Wall of Omens. And I'm just going to hold this planes. Certainly dispel the cord. Maybe it would have been better to negate that. It's possible that dispel is just a better negate. And I should have used negate while I had the extra mana. The Horizon Canopy was also an argument for just playing the planes, since it'll be a while before night turns on unless I draw a border post. But I don't really need the planes in play. Hmm. Alright, at this point I think I should play the planes. Well, I have command. Yeah, I can just sit here. It's not really that important to trade thopters.
Oh, right. My counter spells are pretty bad against the voice. I guess I could have passed the spell skate earlier to turn on night. Might have been something to pay attention to. I think I want to deal with the spell skate and the voice. Missionary's not path the spell skate now. have six lands because the path didn't work. Get rid of the voice so that I can counter without giving my opponent a giant guy.
Um, so now I can sit on command or sphere the elemental or play knight and sit on negate. On six planes, so I need one more for Emiria to turn on. I'm going to play the knight. Got about how big of a problem this raging ravine is coming and becoming. Oh man. I guess that's lethal, so I have to counter it. That's so unfortunate. Getting a planes would be so good. But there's no way that I can let it resolve and live. for life and return all of omens. No! Oh, that's so bad. <sighs> so I'm really dead. Let's just start. work.
That's probably bad for me. Oh yeah, that's real bad for me. Alright, let's try to draw more commands someday. Oops. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's not. This doesn't. This is one white symbol short of making mana. But the path is good. I think that means I live. Barring Court of Calling killing me somehow, which is certainly possible. Now there's a problem that I'm at two, and Restoration Angel on Pia gives my opponent the ability to do, do two damage to me. But I guess my opponent's not at that much mana yet. Assuming we're talking about Cord. So let's get another Wall of Omens. Build Devotion. It's possible that I should be getting Night of the Wood Orchid, but I want to find life gain like this. Okay, now we might just be doing it. So now I have, now it looks like things are turning around. I can mana like this Restoration Angel. for Angel and kill me. Yep. So close. So close. One more turn, really, I think, and I could have gotten everything together. Oh, that was interesting. Alright, so... Dispel seemed good. Um, 
Supreme Verdict is good. Meddling Mage is interesting. Negate's interesting. I don't think I like Spreading Seas. Um, I think I want one Lone Missionary. Maybe I'm supposed to have two. I don't think I'm supposed to have zero. And I don't think I'm supposed to have a lot of them. Um, I think I can get away with only one Aether Spell Bomb. Mortar Pod seems good. I think I don't want to go heavy on counters because of Voice Resurgence. Meddling Mage on Cord is interesting. It's really bad against Pia and Kirin Nalar. Um, In fact, my opponent has enough counterplay that it's not great. I'll try one of them over and over and negate. Try this. It's hard to say if Ulamog was like looked like it was good or bad based on that game. It did I did die with it in my hand. It was probably bad. I probably could have won without it and died with it in my hand. Um, this is awkward because I don't have a land for the border post. So I think I have to mulligan. This is also pretty bad. We get to scry. I can potentially path my own wall of omens. Um, no, I don't think it's good enough. This is actually quite good. Uh, I actually don't think I need another one of these. It's not bad. I kind of have three mana anyway. But it's like slow and I have a Supreme Verdict and it's just not giving me a lot of value. I'll put it on the bottom. Great.
I should have played Corridor Sour there. Probably should have. Strand. too bad for me. This flooded strand has some issues. Issues resolved. Not sure if I want to be ghost quartering my opponent. I probably do. Certainly behind, but I'm not that far behind.
Problem is, if my opponent draws Kiki Jiki, I'm dead. So. That means Cord also kills me. So that's a lot of outs to die immediately. Restoration Angel is pretty hard to beat. This looks expensive enough that it's going to be a problem. Probably Cord. Yep, that's a Cord. So that's Cord for Kiki. Kiki Witness, Witness, either Cord or Angel. So I think I have a draw step. a good draw. So yeah, that's basically perfect. Oh, I should have ghost quartered. Well flood is trans fine. Really? You would do that for me? That's so nice of you. Okay. Well, back in the game. Oh, I forgot to miss Veil Plains while I still had two white permanents. I should have uh, put Path back on the bottom of my deck. Really? Just drew another cord. And now scavenging ooze. Which is awful. I got pretty lucky for that game to be close. This ultimately felt pretty bad.